Wow, bitch, bitch. Was it a bitch, bitch? <laughs> nice. The next day. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel where we talk about politics and parliamentary procedures. I am Marika May and today we will explore the concept of parliamentary niche. Here with us today are Reschen and Karen. Hi everyone! So would you tell us why you are here today? Sure. We are here because we want to learn more about parliamentary niche. We've heard the term niche before, but I'm not exactly sure what it means in the context of parliamentary procedure. Well then, without further ado, let's find out, shall we? Huh? <laughs> Just because I'm functioning. Now let's get going to the real setting. Where are we? Oh, I know! We're in a parliamentary meeting! Exactly! Commonly called Parliamentary Initiative Day, a parliamentary niche is a constitutional mechanism that allows opposition groups and minority groups to promote their texts on the agenda, usually set by the Conference of Presidents in consultation with the government. This principle allows all the groups present at the assembly, even the smallest ones, to make their ideas heard and to put these texts to vote. The groups can thus create the debate or put on the agenda subjects which do not go in the direction of the government. So, in concrete terms, this means that one day a month and intern, each opposition party or minority group can put its bills on the agenda. Wow, so this would also allow all members to focus on areas they're passionate about and contribute to the legislative process in a meaningful way. You get that right! There is, however, only one rule. All bills must be studied on the day of the parliamentary niche because once past midnight, they can no longer be voted on. Wait, why is having a parliamentary niche important though? Yeah, I mean, I get that it helps the minority to be heard, but... Are there any other reasons why it's important? Good question. How about we call an expert to help explain? Our interview before today is Dr. Archer Campoy of the College of Arts and Sciences. We asked Mr. Campoy as to what is the importance of parliamentary niche. Well, aside from helping the minority members, it also allows members of the parliamentary to become experts in a particular area which can be helpful when it comes to crafting policy and legislation. They can provide valuable insights and recommendations based on their knowledge and experience. Now, basic knowledge of parliamentary procedure can make the group decision process more orderly and can make the meeting run smoothly. Benefits of the use of the proper parliamentary procedure include the ability to focus on one item at a time, 
decisions that recognize the majority while protecting the rights of the minority, equal opportunity for input among participants, and foster more orderly meetings. It is important that having a parliamentary reach doesn't mean ignoring other issues or areas of policy. Members of the parliament still need to be well-rounded and informed on a wide range of topics in order to effectively represent their constituents. The parliamentary role is designed to help leaders and members to conduct meetings of high quality and efficiency and give them guidance in organizational structure and functions. Now, knowledge of parliamentary rules is helpful to participants on every level. Members need to be aware of the methods of the good procedure then. How do members of parliament develop a parliamentary niche? Well, it often starts with their personal and professional backgrounds, but it can also be influenced by their committee assignments and parliamentary work. Now, to develop and to be successful member of the parliament, you will need also the following. First, you'll need to have legal knowledge including a background in court procedures and government regulations. Second, an understanding of society and culture. Third, excellent communication skills. Fourth, you'll need to have analytical thinking skills. And fifth, you should have active listening skills. Sixth, you'll need to have the ability to think clearly using logic and reasoning. And seventh, you'll need to be thorough and pay attention to every single details during the meeting proper. Now, parliamentary niche, if not used properly, would seem meaningless. The members who do the actual practice would surely master the rules. Some members may also actively seek out opportunities to become involved in a particular issue or area of policy, such as by joining a parliamentary caucus or attending related conferences and events. So in conclusion, parliamentary niche is a term that describes that one day a month, each opposition party or minority group can put its bills onto the agenda as decided by the government. This can be helpful for crafting policy and legislation, building influence, and advocating for constituents. In this way, it also helps members of parliament to develop their niche through personal and professional backgrounds, committee assignments, and actively seeking out opportunities. That's all for this episode of Politics and Parliamentary Procedure. I'm your host, Mark May, and once again, these are Restian and Karen. I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye! Wait, there's more! Our dearest mentor would also like to say something for the people involved in this project and the viewers. My sincerest thanks and gratitude for this endeavor. My hats off to the members of the crew for this opportune time to be with all of you guys, uh, to the viewers, my magnanimous respect to you all. I hope you would support all our undertakings and our own little ways of sharing with you some of our short-lived but substantial educational vlogs. Uh, gandang buhay po, huwag ang Diyos nga makagagahom, magauban ka na tong tanan. God bless us all! Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for my political insights and discussions.